Hello Pathfinders. Are you ready to go to Gillette to the International Camporee? Have you know that we're trying to break world records? Last time we broke the human cross and the uh, giant scarf. This year we're trying to break more royal records and one of them is a GBC great ball contraption. It's made with Legos and some of you have been asking questions and I'm hoping to answer them for you. First of all, go to the Campery website and print out the newsletter. On the back are the rules. The GBCs have to follow certain rules so they all can pass the ball one to another. In the description box below will be a link to this newsletter. One of the critical things about your GBC that you build is it has to be 10 by 10 by 10. This is the smallest unit you could build. This is a one step stepper. It is 10 by 10 by 10. 10 bricks high, 10 of these little dots wide, okay? It has a well to receive balls in and it sends them out. So this is the smallest one you can build. This one has the motor right here. This is an M motor, very simple gearing. This you can get as a kit. It is called a ball bin stepper. The instructions are free if you happen to have all the parts, but the kit from AliExpress runs about uh, 15, 16 dollars. Takes about two weeks to get here. If you make one of these, it would count, but you may want to do something more complicated. This wheel module works really well. The instructions are free. They're by Lassie. The thing that's cool about the instructions for this is that they're on the computer and you can rotate the model and see what's going on. If you are building this model, things to pay attention to, the spacing right here, very critical that it is the right spacing, and the placement of these, let's see if I can put this in the camera, there you go, the placement of these affects whether the balls jam up or they go around smoothly. So if you build it and you're having issues, pay attention to that. This module is made so it clicks into modules just like it. So it doesn't have any output. You would probably need to build an output for here from things that you have. So a uh, lot of fun things. The instructions are great. There'll be a link for these instructions below. This one here is made with mock bricks, not Lego bricks. Mock is a company out of China. They make pretty good quality bricks. They're not the same as Lego. These fit a little tighter than Lego, so they're a little harder to take off or snap into place, but they work quite well. Um, there are lots of companies that make compatible bricks. Not all of them work well. Uh, I would stick with either Mock or Lego. Some of the other companies, the bricks are too soft or the bricks don't snap together well. So be careful if you're ordering parts. If you have all the parts you need, that's great, but you may have everything but a certain piece. You can order just a specific piece from Lego uh, and that'll be in the description box below. It takes about three weeks to get it from Lego. Or you can order from China, from Mock, and those pieces, one are cheaper, and they come in about two weeks. So you, things to consider. One very, very, very important thing is the balls we're using. These are the balls. These balls, and I'm gonna bring in the camera so you can see them. So I have a bin here of these balls. If you look at them, they look like little bitty soccer balls, but these are not Lego balls. If you get a Lego ball, this ball would run you about a dollar a piece, and you need about 40 to do your testing. What we're using is these. These are GBC soccer balls. They're from Brick Loot, and you can buy them on Amazon. There'll be a link below. You get 100 of them for $20. That's plenty to test with if you lose some and so on. Now I have a couple other models here I want you to see. This one here is a serpentine, okay? There's certain things about the gears I wanna show you. All right, so this serpentine runs the balls up here and out this little hole. But if we look at the gears, you will notice the motor comes through two universal joints and it has See if I can see this here. Two little gears to a slightly bigger gear to a bigger gear. Turns out the motors run a little too fast. So you need to gear them down. This particular model has been geared down once here 
and again here. If you go from a little gear to a big gear, you're slowing it down. If you go from a big gear to a little gear, you're speeding it up. So be careful on how you put your, model, uh, your module together that it doesn't go too fast and jam up. Like I said, there's lots of free instructions. This is a model from the 2022 GBC uh, conference. It was a workshop model. This one here was built in properly. This is not 10 wide. It has to be 10 wide. This one's only eight. I need to rework this. But the instructions are free. The instructions are 10 wide. Um, I just didn't have the, enough bricks. I've got some more bricks and I'm going to redo it. So that's that one. This one here is a very reliable model. Again, the instructions are free and they'll be in the instruction in the description box below. One thing to keep in mind, make sure your motor is easily accessible. So if you have to change it out or test it, one of the things that people have found out is if you build the whole model and don't test as you go and it doesn't work, you don't know where to go back to. So test your model, make sure it's running, that the gears are turning as you build it. Now, if you get something from China, let me show you this kit. Let me show you this model. This one came from China. It is not mock bricks, so the bricks aren't as good a quality. The problems are numerous on this. It all came in one big bag. All the parts just in a bag. No box, no instructions, just a bag of parts. It says on here to contact them and they would send you the PDF. They sent the PDF. They're very poorly written, very hard to see uh, what they want you to do. And first time I put it together, it didn't work. It took quite a while to get all the gears correct on both sides, built it numerous times, but still have a problem. This inbox is too high, doesn't meet uh, the rules. This module, can't talk to that module. The balls from here would fall here. I need the balls up here. How do I get the balls up here? Need to work that out. So just be careful if you're ordering kits that the kits are what you expect. If you order from AliExpress, it's a buyer beware market, sort of like Amazon, but not. Make sure you read carefully and understand what it is you're ordering. And Pathfinders, make sure your parents are helping you do that. There's a couple more things I want to mention. Um, the instructions will be uh, of lots of these, some links so you can get some free instructions. Any kit from Akiyuki is going to be very solid. He has quite a few free ones out there. You can get, uh, but usually it's just instructions. You have to find your own parts. And uh, Mold King makes pretty good uh, instructions. So does um, J, TJ Brick Layer has good instructions, good kits, good parts. They use the mock parts. Just be careful what you order, but we don't have very much time. If you order stuff, it takes two to three weeks to get to you. And I have yet to get a kit that didn't have something missing. Now I have a fairly extensive collection of Lego parts. So I was able to source what I needed from my spares. But if you have to order that part or get it from the person who sent you the kit, it'll take another two weeks. So there's not much time. It's great fun. We need 400 modules. You need to register them. That information of how to register is in the newsletter. And my email is there. So if you have questions, either put them in the comments below or send me an email. We would love to have you participate. See you at Gillette.